gas in vapor phase is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that gas in the solution. When we say mole fraction, the solubility in Henry's law is expressed as mole fraction. Okay, so basically it means the concentration. So in simple word, you apply more pressure, if the gas applies more pressure, then the mole fraction or the solubility of the gas will always be higher. That is what we mean by Henry's law. Now this particular law we can put into a mathematical expression which we can write it as P, that is the partial pressure of the liquid is directly proportional to chi, which is the solubility which is expressed in terms of mole fraction. Now if that is the case, now to equalize it, I can write P is equal to KH chi. That is what actually is the mathematical expression of Henry's law where KH is the Henry's law constant. Okay. So now once we understand Henry's law constant and once we understand that the pressure is directly proportional to chi. Now the another thing which we want to understand as I have already mentioned it that when we talk about solubility of a gas in a liquid it depends on two variables. One is pressure which we have seen that more the pressure of the gas more is its solubility more is the mole fraction. Now the second is temperature. Now to understand that we will try to interpret KH. Okay. Now if I write this particular expression okay, in terms of KH then what I can write is KH will be equal to P by chi. I hope you can understand that KH will be P by chi. So if I try to keep pressure constant then what I get it from here is K is inversely proportional to chi. Okay, that means if a gas has a higher value of KH, then this particular solubility or mole fraction will always be lower because this mole fraction is nothing but solubility. So that means if the KH value of a gas is higher, let's say if I give you two gases, one has a higher value of KH and another one has a lower value of KH, then the one which has a higher value of KH is always less soluble at a constant pressure. If you apply same pressure for both the gases and if you try to see that which gas will be more soluble, the one with lower value of KH, lower value of KH will have a higher solubility since they are inversely proportional to one another. Okay? So that is one thing which we have to understand. So if they give you different gases, if you want to compare the solubility, then you have to always see their KH value. Now the next question is, what this KH value depends on? Now, the KH value depends on three things. One is nature of solute. Another one is nature of solvent. And the third and the very important thing is, which we wanted to discuss, is temperature. So, KH depends on temperature. Now the question is how? See, nature of solute and nature of solvent is something which we cannot change. It's the nature of the solute, nature of the solvent. So, if I change the solute and solvent, yes, the solubility may vary. But Obviously, by taking the same solute and solvent, I cannot increase their solubility. But if I change the temperature which is in my control, then the solubility varies. Now the question is how? When we try to find out the relationship between KH and temperature, what was found out that KH is directly proportional to temperature. That means more the temperature, higher the temperature, higher is the KH value. So when you have a higher temperature range, then KH also becomes higher. 
So more the value of KH, that means maybe the gas is at a higher temperature. So the same gas at different temperature will have different value of KH. At a lower temperature, it will have lower value of KH. At a higher temperature, it will have a higher value of KH. So KH is a constant at a constant temperature. Remember that. If you vary the temperature, then the value of KH will also vary. That is the part which you have to be very clear. So if I try to put these things together, what we found out is KH is directly proportional to temperature and KH is directly, sorry, inversely proportional to solubility, that is mole fraction. That means what we can say is that when KH is higher, solubility will become lower. When KH is higher, temperature is higher. So when temperature is higher, solubility will always be lower. So very important point, when we try to dissolve a gas at a higher temperature, it will always be less soluble. So whenever we prefer to dissolve a gas, it should be always at a low temperature. Always remember that at low temperature, gases are more soluble than at high temperature. That is why, okay, there is one particular application part of it. That is why aquatic species are more comfortable in cold water rather than in warm waters. Okay, why? Because cold water means temperature is low. When temperature is low, the KH value of oxygen will be obviously lower. When KH is lower, then what will happen? The solubility will become higher. That's why at a lower temperature, if the temperature of the water is less, then more oxygen will be available. As a result, the aquatic species will be more comfortable. So that is how you can understand what is Henry's law, what is the, uh, what is the mathematical expression of Henry's law, and how we can understand the variation of pressure and solubility and temperature and solubility. So that is all about this particular video. Thank you very much.